Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. How the world abuses Christ. Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba, Olumba, a Buddha supernatural teacher. First lesson from John chapter 14, verse 19. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. Second lesson. Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 to 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Golden text, John chapter 1, verses 26 to 27. John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you, whom ye know not. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, who should latch it I am not worthy to unloose. Quote, Brethren, it is the same old story, the story of that man. If you look around, you will realize that the story is always new in the air. He said, yet a little while and the world will not see me again. But you will see me because I live, you will live also. The second lesson tells us, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. When did he make that statement? He said, I am with you always, even on to the end of the world. Has the world an end? If the world has no end, why do you say that Jesus is not here? Where did he go? When the word of God falls to the ground, it breaks mighty rocks and rises up and accomplishes his will. He is the truth and his words are fire. Teach them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. He is not saying that he will be with you, but that he is with you always. Jesus Christ is still on earth. What do you infer? When you say, until Jesus comes again. Others say that he has not yet come. Where did he go? Where is he? Our first lesson says, Yet a little while the world seeth me no more. But ye see me because I live, ye shall live also. And you have heard the golden text John said, I baptize with water, but there stands one among you whom ye know not. He was before me, and I am not worthy to loosen his shoes. Latch it. Is history not repeating itself? There is someone now in your midst that you do not know. He said that he was before him. And there is no, and he is now in your midst. He is not worthy to lose his shoes, latch it. That is the problem. Now that you are here, how many of you know him? 
Do you know him? Do you consider it a simple thing? It is not an easy thing for one to know God. It is not up to five people who knew him. It is always the case that one or two persons only know him. You have heard that the people went to John asking who is who he was if he was the Christ at that time was the son of man not on earth who sent John who sent the rest who did all the work at that time but they came and asked who he was are you the Christ and he told them, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you to whom you do not know. He was before me, and I am not worthy to unloose his shoes. Latch it. Think over this. Is it not the same issue? Do not abandon Christ's teachings. He says, Yet a little while and the world will not see me, but ye see me because I live. Ye shall also live. Today have you not seen him? But does the world know him? He has instructed us to teach them all things and assured that, Lo, I am with you always even unto the end of the world. When you admonished people to shun drinking and other vices, you will be made an outcast. And such gospel rescinded and they will attribute you are not drinking to poverty. Visit any church and you will be amazed at their level of preaching. They are far from the teachings of Christ. He said that you should teach them to observe all things. It is strange for us to set aside a month or a season or a day to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the eternal one who was and is and will ever be forever. He is worthy that we should use every day, every month, and every year in praising his name. With time, his children will be able to do this. When you tell them that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are here, they will tell you that you are demented. They forgot what he said. He said, yet a little while and the world will not see me, but ye see me because I live, ye shall live also. Have you not seen that his children are seeing him today? Seeing our Lord Jesus Christ is not a simple thing. It is for those, it is for those it has been predestinated. And those are his children. That has been the condition right from the beginning. It is not for it is not for every person to see the Lord, even though all is even though all are his creation. In those days of yore. It was only John the Baptist to whom the Son of God was revealed and he was able to identify him as the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. It is not something you have to quarrel with your brother or be annoyed with yourself. It does not call for prayers, but it is a matter of fortune. If you are spotlighted as one of those whom he has created, sealed and kept for his glory. Only the pure in heart knows him. You have heard 
that there are those who are virgins and they do not marry nor are given in marriage and no guile is found in their mouth they are born with that and you will see them these are they to whom the privilege of seeing him have been given before the foundation of the world was laid they are those who will walk with him he says that you should follow after peace with all men and holiness without which no one shall see the lord the reason you are taught to forsake fornication drinking and every bit of sin is to enhance your ability to see him in our midst even though the world does not know it is kept for them it is kept for men wants to die and after that the judgment because christ died once and will reappear this time he will have no business with any sinner but he is coming for those who are eagerly waiting for him there is no point going to tell people to come and see jesus christ because he has arrived where did he go to in the first place when you invite the person will he see him will he know him will he have any business with him all the people you find filling the churches in america are drunkards drug addicts and secret society members they have desecrated themselves and everywhere is thinking how will they see the lord all those in the united kingdom have defiled themselves and have polluted the land how can they see him go to france go to russia and you will find the same condition everywhere is defiled but they continue shouting on jesus christ where did he go was he lost he is here and he owns heaven and earth and everything the problem is that he has laid the condition that a fornicator will not see him a thief will not see him a liar will not see him no sinner will see him except those who purify themselves stop abusing our lord jesus christ the world joke with this name and they dupe with the name they use this name to kill and steal and today the name the name is made a laughing stock throughout the world on christmas day they are masquerades to celebrate in the name of jesus one person will be drinking while another person is fornicating and they will say that christmas is very pleasant go and tell the world that all those who behave go and tell the world that all those who believe in our lord jesus christ do not drink and that they should not drink any wine on christmas day the world will not take it kindly with you they will ask you the essence of christmas labor not on that day and refrain from fornication but keep yourself pure a man of god when his wife puts to birth invites brethren to make merry with him this is done in all circumstances why must the man of god indulge in fetish masquerade display on christmas day and yet you say that you are glorifying him what kind of glory is that many people quarrel during this christmas period a wife will quarrel with her husband because he has not given her christmas clothes shoes and so on 
the husband will go and steal and kill so that he may meet these expenses. Who taught you these things? You put on necklaces, earrings, nose rings, waist rings, and costly dresses. All these things are not required. It is righteousness, the fear of God, and peace that he wants. He says that we should not bear malice. We should not tell lies. We should not be angry. We should not exalt ourselves. We should not hate any person. We should love one another. And we should observe all that he has commanded us and teach the same to others. Food, money, or clothing do not recommend you to God. If you do not eat or dress, it does not make you evil in the sight of God. He wants to have his reverence in us. He wants us to have love and to be patient and be humble. Here is the headquarters of the brotherhood world. But apart from the Christ students and Christ servants, who else do you see? What we are doing now is like a choir practice in readiness for the future. But who do you find here? Even though it is well known that we are in the Christ week celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, people have refused to come. Learn to honor him in truth. From the 19th to the 25th of December every year we set aside this period to celebrate the Christ week and those who have seen him come and rejoice with him we celebrate it every day from January 31st to this from January 1st to December 31st this week is set aside above the others so that we may glorify him the time is coming and now is when we shall see him and his glory. The moment we have the 144,000 virgins, the next duty will be to change man and then shall we see his glory. You will not need any person to tell you again. Every person will see his glory and he will be celebrated everywhere. It is not implied that the people of the world will not farm, arch, and trade. Uh, that is their business, just as, as it is said that the dogs are outside the gates of the city, serving God day and night. The world continues to say that he has not come, but we are serving him day and night. That is why he says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give the kingdom unto you. It is a privilege for you and I. History has repeated itself. Christ's students are pay-setters. You remember the parable that the kingdom of God is like a treasure which is buried in a piece of land and when someone discovers that land out of joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys the land this is fulfilled today in the christ student the christ student used to be regarded as demented person a person who has a job married and has been this and that but today he goes about wa wasting his time saying he is a Christ student. What is the difference? They could not see any difference because we are all, we all bow together. What is the situation today? Can you still bow with them? They are as free at their, they are as free as the air today. They have no problem while you are lamenting over food, money, and everything. Who is 
this sensible person between you. The Christ students are the wisest today. I will want them. I will want them from today to give their personal testimony. There is one of them whom the brother asked to come and attend school. He replied that even if he was given an aeroplane to take him to school every day and a million naira is given to him every day, he will not go. The world thinks that they are mentally deranged. The foolish ones among them have been enticed out and today they are regretting. Today graduates with masters and doctorate degrees are putting in applications and they are asking what it cost to be admitted into the Christ student fold. I am telling you who said that they were mad to go and wait with your sanity. The Christ students started the choir and the different styles of dance. People pointed to them and said they were mad. They are, were called refugees. There is no name that they were not called. But since they saw this glory, they have no problems. You watch them when they will dance and you will know that they are in another planet. In your case, when you dance, you will remember that there is no food in the house. But the Christ students have a one-way traffic. Remember the parable about a man who had two sons and sent out his firstborn on an errand. The firstborn said he will not go and the secondborn said that he will go but the secondborn did not go. In the end it was the firstborn who went on the errand. The parable has happened again. The ordained ones were elected and their feet were washed and they were anointed to enter into the vineyard but they refused. In the end the Christ students were called and sent on the assignment and today all the ordained ones have resigned from their place of work. Some have even forsaken their wives in order that they may do this work. But they used to say that the Christ students were mad. It happens. It appears that they are also mad like the students. The songs which the students used to sing and for which they were being despised. Today all the, choist all the choisters are imitating them. They are also imitating their dancing and the students now have to stand by and watch them. I am now telling the Christ students not to fold their arms and watch them. Do not be outdone because you started this game. Do not forfeit your, your treasure. You will be surprised that the Christ students do not participate in singing competition. They are like Indians who are banned from playing football for or pools or lotteries because they will win all. The Christ students were exempted from singing competition. They are pure natural choristers and they will win every singing competition. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, John chapter 14, verse 19. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. That is exactly the situation in the world. Every person was invited to come and serve God, but no person wanted to. But right now, everybody wants to imitate brotherhood. 
you are what you are because you have seen him and whoever sees him shall be like him you should not disturb any person because blindness is an evil disease if christ does not reveal himself to you you cannot do anything you cannot even pray you will say that god does not exist the world will embrace brotherhood the whole world will do what we are doing when the invitation is extended to them you only have to gird your loins so that they may not outdo you this message of joy has not reached many people in the world he said because i live you shall live also if this message of joy were to reach the world would they continue to say until jesus comes again our lord jesus christ is eternal life he is the beginning and the end his life has neither beginning nor end life is not given to him by measure he has no pains his glory and everything of his are for eternity that is why you find us serving him round the clock and so those who say that until he comes back again have not received this good news if you tell them that there is one in their midst whom they do not know it will come as a surprise to them when virgin mary was told that the holy spirit shall overshadow her and that which shall be born of her shall be called holy where do you think that he was at that time he was still in the spirit he was in heaven and yet he was still here on earth walking when he was born or after he was born where do you think he was he was still in heaven now he is here on earth that was why when they asked him to tell them about heavenly things he told them if i have told you about earthly things that you do not believe how will you believe when i tell you of heavenly things no man art ascended up to heaven but either come either came down from heaven even the son of man which is in heaven and so when he was walking on earth he was not on earth he was still in heaven and so he is the one who descends and ascends jesus christ is unique he is the one that came down from heaven he is the one who ascends to heaven and he is the one who is in heaven until this day he is the one who ascends and descends which other person does this but when you say until jesus comes back again i used to wonder and i asked where has he gone even now he is in heaven he is in your heart he is inside the water he is everywhere he can enter into the womb of a woman and is born as a baby he can do this to many women at a wonderful rate he says abide in me and i in you for without me he can do nothing he can appear as a as 12 men with the same face and he will be in front of them he is the same person again you may see a large crowd of choristers coming in a very long procession he is the same person and they are all one person later on one man will come out gorgeously dressed driving in a big car you will receive him and give him a befitting seat that is the man another person will come in walking naked and you will push him out as a madman who is that it is the lord another person will appear as a very beautiful lady and you will ask to be excused 
from fornication just this once because you cannot resist her beauty. Who is she? It is the same Lord. You may also see another woman who is very ugly with shoes, who is very ugly with swords all over her body. She will come to you and call you brother and you will drive her away. That is the Lord you drive away. You will also see another person with his Bible and you will acclaim him as a good brotherhood. It is the Lord. You will also see another person dressed in his suit with his pipe and he will ask you where this brotherhood is and you will tell him to stand aside with his pipe. He is the Lord. Brethren, you can now see why you are told that if there comes unto your assembly a man with a gold ring, dresses well, and, these, and there comes in also a poor man in a vile, in vile raiment, and you have respect for him that dresses well, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou here, or sit here under my footstool. Are you not then partial in yourself, and are become judges of evil thoughts? Who is the one dressed in good apparel, and who is the one dressed in vile raiment? It is the same Lord, brethren. That is what has eluded you. You are told to watch in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night, because he will come at a time you least expect. Right now, we look for the rich, and we do not want Judas Iscariot. Who gave Judas the duty of a treasurer? Was it not the Lord? He was the Judas. When the disciples reported to him that Judas was misappropriating the funds, did he say anything? If you are a king ruling over a big nation and one city asks that you should send police force to them, others demand for custom officers, others demand for the army, and others ask for businessmen, and others also ask for a bank, when you have satisfied their respective demands, who is the one who has done these things? He is the one. It is not those people who have done it. That is the case.